love peace light and blessings so family welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel welcome welcome my name is jazz if you're one of my a1 day one subscribers shout out to you spiritual gangsters you original souls this is going to be a collective general reading um we just going to tap in see what's good with tea let me slide out the way give y'all this mountain view one time welcome to jacques mel so family it's beautiful y'all hear the uh the natural alarm clocks going off the uh roosters is, is really really loud this morning but that's every morning guys so we just going to tap in i just want to pull a few energies for the collective i miss you guys i did arrive to haiti safe and sound so thank you for everybody who sent a prayer my way sent some beautiful energy or some positive juju my way in regards to my travels so we're going to tap in. Y'all been here for about two days. I had to go ahead and get myself situated. Let's bless our reading one time for the one time. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, ascended masters. Mother God, Father God, I ask that you utilize me as a humble vessel. Fill me up with divine love, divine light, divine messages, divine lessons, divine blessings, and divine guidance for myself and for the collective. I ask that you fill me up until we overflow mentally, spiritually, physically and emotionally. Ashe, Ayi Bobo, Amun. Let's tap in y'all. If y'all hear, uh, if it's a little loud, it is motorcycles and cars traveling by. And then we got the chickens and the roosters waking everybody up. It's the crack of dawn right now. I'm an early bird out here. So let's go ahead and tap in. We will be starting with the goddess power oracle this is actually my aunt's deck y'all but i love this deck i've been watching her pull some cards out of this deck and this deck is so beautiful so let's tap in y'all we got two we have i don't even know how to pronounce this y'all a l e t i s she must be a goddess and she is the goddess of wisdom so we're gonna go ahead and get her out the book but i definitely feel like the collective is becoming extremely wise in this very now moment tapping into the akashic records could definitely be um key right now we are in um the age of aquarius so i definitely feel like the downloads for each individual is becoming way more powerful than what you are accustomed to so pay attention to these downloads and where they're coming from they're coming from the wise ones they're coming from the wise ancestors or these wise entities that are filling up the collective consciousness in a crystalline grid with new information, with new facts, with new revelations and things of that nature. I said revelations, y'all. The next card out we have is Lizzie Revelation. A lot of these goddesses I'm unfamiliar with. I told y'all this was my aunt's deck. And when I went through it and I looked at it, this song was like that. So I said, let me go ahead and give this to my collective one time. We gonna go ahead and get the very first goddess out the book i don't even know how to pronounce her name y'all i don't so this very first goddess is called aletis it says experience woven together with knowledge creates a beautiful thing wisdom its parts are entwined like a finely made rope that is so strong it can't be cut wisdom once earned becomes an essential part of you right now the greek goddess of wisdom metis says you know exactly what to do in your current circumstances the real question is do you have the courage and commitment to make a wise choice your answer is not to hide you are being invited to look within rather than without take the wisdom you already have and apply it to your question perhaps However, you must instead draw forth the humility to find someone wiser to weigh in. In this powerful time, others may seek you out for your wisdom. This is also an auspicious period when new relationships are founded on deep truth shared with others. You are entering a potent period of your life to share all that you are and all that you have learned. Extraordinary things are possible when the goddess Matisse reminds you of your wisdom and the need to express it. Now y'all pay attention to that message. It says, experience woven together with knowledge creates a beautiful thing called wisdom i want everybody to pay attention to their experiences leading up to this very now moment and pay attention to how if you look at that shit in chronological order if you look at that shit in sequential order god has a perfect plan over everybody's lives i'm talking about the trials the tribulations that lead you to your success and your and your prosperity and your abundance everything has a dualistic opposite and in order for us to get to either one of these polar 
polarities, we have to go through the whole entire transition. A lot of the collective is beginning to look at their obstacles, to look at their trials, their tribulations, to look at these things placed in front of them. The, the mountain that God wanted you to literally move out your motherfucking way. A lot of us have been literally looking at the mountain, trying to figure out how to climb over it. Y'all see the mountains? We've been looking at these mountains, trying to figure out how to climb. And you wondering why you don't have the strength to climb because God gave you the strength to push that shit. A lot of the collective is tapping into these, these, these Akashic records and you're realizing the type of strength that actually lies within your veins here. So all of the mountains put in your way here collective were meant for you to move out your way. You're not supposed to climb it and get around it. You're supposed to conquer that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that is the revelation. We're not going to get her out the book, but that is indeed the revelation that everybody is genuinely coming to. So I want to go ahead and pull out the mermaid's oracle. We're going to get one out of here. I miss y'all. It's been a minute. I hope everybody is alive and well, feeling beautiful and abundant. It is 90 something degrees in Haiti right now. So if y'all see me with a little mustache sweat, just let me be human, okay? It's really, really hot. I'm in the yard and the sun is really, really uh, out right now. And it's bright and early. So y'all know around like 1 p.m. That's when it's really gonna come through. I'm just waiting for um, everybody else. We getting ready to go see grandpa. So I'm about to go see my bawon. And I will definitely be giving you guys a vlog. Um, I know I went in a little bit about the buy one, the buy one nest, but I want to um, go a little deeper in regards to who they are within the, the ancestral lineage, how important they are, what role that they play. We have freedom, independence, and self-determination. I definitely feel like here the collective is freeing their mind. Free your mind and the rest will follow. The collective is freeing their mind. A free mind is a sovereign soul. You know what I'm saying? When you have all of the, 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 the programs placed within this patriotic society to be structured and followed and, and all of these things, you know, you are definitely a slave to society. When you wake up and make the conscientious choice to think for yourself, to believe in yourself, to believe in things that resonate with what's true to yourself, that's where you find freedom. That's where freedom lies. That's when you cultivate independence and that's when you become self-determined to, to prosper. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the uh, collective is beginning to realize that the blockages and the mountains and the, and the trials and the tribulations had a lot to do with their thought process. You know what I'm saying? The freedom and the sovereignty happens when you free your mind, when you allow yourself to believe what you want, to think what you want, when you, when you utilize the tools that have been placed upon the earthly realm and you allow it to to move you forward versus following somebody else's system or somebody else's belief each one of us are so individualistic and that's why it says independence freedom requires independence freedom requires for us to realize that neither one of our fingerprints or our natal charts were intended to be the same here so i definitely feel like the collective is acknowledging the unique qualities that we all possess really really beginning to to hone in on the fact that this is something that is divinely orchestrated over all of our lives, soul contracts and plans, things of that nature. I want to go ahead and use the Lenormand. We're going to clarify this wisdom one time. Spirit, what is this wisdom? What is this wisdom here, Spirit, that the collective is tapping into? What type of wisdom is this? Matisse is her name and she's gorgeous y'all I want to look into her origins because she's definitely giving me like a Hindu um Indian type of uh energy and I'm very very fond of the Hindu belief system their practices their devas and their deities it's very symbolic and and um it's very symbolic and easy to compare to African spiritual traditions in regards to their their morals and their values and things of that nature. Their ancestral veneration is so similar to the way that we venerate our ancestors and things of that nature. And they only go into ceremony with their devas and their deities for medicinal purposes, for protection purposes. So I love their whole foundation. I want to look more into Matisse and maybe some of you guys might feel guided to do the same exact thing because she definitely piqued my interest. Clarify this wisdom, please, spirit. So we have the park. 
I feel like this is, um, when you see the park energy, these are meetings. You know what I'm saying? The park is indicative of people coming together, people meeting up with each other. I feel like this is you finding your soul tribe here, soul family. This is you finding people who resonate with you. These, this is you finding people who help you tap into your Akashic records, who help you break paradigms and programs that have been placed upon humanity and society. When I see the park, this is people linking up, whether it be through uh, social media, whether it be through these platforms that we're creating, these, these, this is alignment when I see the park. So I definitely feel like the ancestors in the spiritual realm are also having these meetings on our behalf. How much wisdom do we download into this crystalline grid? How much wisdom do we give the earthly plane? How much wisdom are they ready for? So these are all of our ancestors on the other side coming to these um, plans or these, these arrangements to to determine whether or not we're ready. Some of y'all are ready, Spirit says. Some of y'all are ready to upgrade. Some of y'all are ready to free your mind and the rest will follow. Some of y'all are already receiving these revelations and ready to receive more revelations. But here with the meeting, with the park, the park indicates some type of arranged meeting. I feel like not everybody within the collective is ready for these upgrades. And we have to definitely understand that you cannot see divinity within yourself if you don't acknowledge the barriers placed between your brain brethren and your sisters and and not see the divinity with them within them i can't see the god within me unless i see the god within all of you guys so i have to cultivate a level of patience within my journey to understand that everybody is growing blossoming and blooming within their own pace according to their own spiritual contract and that's what i feel here everybody is realizing that it is not my job to wake you up it is not my job to to defend god god don't need you to defend him or her it's not your job. It's not your place. All, it, all, all our job here is to do is to work on ourselves individualistically because that is collectively ascending and helping the body of creation. We all come from the same creator. It don't matter what you call it. You got two, two, and two. If I go scream that shit down the mountaintops, do you really think the mountaintops is going to echo something different? That's the same way that the spiritual realm and the, and the heavenly realm and Zion responds to our unique vibrations. Two, two, two. T O T O O T W O. These mountains don't give a fuck. They gonna echo my intention. So whatever intention I put behind that two is how the universe will respond to that two. And that's why the English language is so fucked up. And the English lang language fucks everybody up, y'all, because because of that. Because of that. The spirit realm responds to energy. The spirit realm responds to vibration. The spirit realm responds to frequency. I say that to say the fact that wisdom is the only way that you come to these type of revelations. You realize that we all come from the same creator. And then the creator has these intercessors such as devas, goddesses, deities assigned to the collective on creation's behalf. When you box creation in, that's the only way, that's the only time that you're unable to see the broad perspective. But the moment you allow creation to be bigger and better and omnipresent is when you realize that it lives within every single last thing created. My blood, the blood of the ancestors before me, the earth, the vibration in the trees, the primordial waters, the healing currents, the fire, the soul, the spark, the air, the pranayama. Creation lives in every single last thing breathing, and that's the wisdom that we're coming into contact with. You know what I'm saying? Clarify this freedom, please, spirit. Why is freedom here? Independence, self-determination. Clarifying freedom, we have the key. I told y'all, y'all are unlocking the Akashic Records. Some of y'all definitely have been granted access to be able to free your mind and the rest will follow. I love it. So you guys are unlocking your independence right now. You're unlocking this key that, that you're unlocking this chamber where your self-determination was locked up. And I feel like your ancestors or spirit itself had something locked up because it was for you to find. It was for you to discover. It was for you to cultivate. Of it. it was for you to literally go through the polar opposites like I said y'all want abundance so bad but don't nobody want to go through the polar opposite of abundance to get there y'all want prosperity so bad but don't nobody want to go through the polar opposite of prosperity to get there so these dualistic aspects whether it be yin yang and then chi because the yin and the yang feminine masculine chi is the balance or if you believe in Yahweh 
Yah in Hebrew means feminine. Way in Hebrew means masculine. So when you bring feminine and masculine polarities together, you create divinity. However you look at this, these polar opposites is how you get the key. You got to go through the whole spectrum of energy to be able to say you've been there, you've done that, you've lived, you've conquered, and now you have freedom. Now you have independence. The collective is beginning to look at a lot of the hardships completely differently, realizing that the hardships was literally a part of the perfect plan. You can't go to the ancestors and ask them for something and think that they're going to give it to you before you ready. No, they're going to get you ready. You might get dirty in the process of them getting you ready too, but you got to understand that it's all a part of the plan. Clarify this revelation here, spirit. What is this revelation? We got birds, messengers. I feel like that is the revelation, you guys. A lot of you guys are starting to realize that creation not only lives within you, but everything creates it. And if you ever wonder why everything creative becomes a part of your ritual or your ceremony, because that's how you call in creation. Sometimes the reason why you don't sacrifice the animals is because your blood alone is a part of the creation created. Depending upon what you're doing, when you bring every aspect of creation together and you tap into the creator, these birds, these little messengers have a piece of creation. Like I said, the earth has a piece of creation. The fire has a piece of creation. The pranayama, the air, the primordial waters, the currents. Everything has a little piece of creation. And we're beginning to realize how creation did not send us here without this perfect plan. The earth is healing. The waters is healing. We literally on this earthly plane have everything that we need to be the sovereign free beings that we were always intended to be. But if you look at society now, you have majority of society solely dependent on westernized medication. They call holistic medicine alternative medicine, even though westernized medicine is only 100 years old. So me as a Reiki master practicing something that's been on the earth for over 10,000s of years and I have people coming to me telling me that my form of healing is alternative. That's a lack of wisdom. You see what I'm saying? The collective is beginning to awaken themselves, tap into a lot of these ancient practices and realizing that there has been a perfect plan. Nick is not supposed to be dying. Nick is not supposed to be sick. That's actually foreign to this land. That's actually shit that we've created here as men, you guys. That's what we've created as men. We've created problem and no solution because the solution has never left the earth to begin with. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this reading, you guys. This is gonna be a quick oracle reading. I will come back with a tarot reading. I might do some um, elements for you guys. But I wanna go see my Bawo. I wanna go see Grandpa. I miss him. I really miss him. Angels, gods, and goddesses. Quick little collective spread. Keys to the Akashic. I like it here, Collective. Y'all got the keys to the Akashic. Now, Spirit says, what do you want to do with it? You have the option to tap into some wisdom if you're ready. You got the option to free your mind and the rest will follow. But your DNA has to be calibrated and upgraded and coded enough to receive these revelations because it, you'll look at the Collective and you'll see they ain't ready. They receive the revelations and it makes them go crazy. Some of y'all want this path so bad, but you don't want to go through the processes that, that, that lead up to it, that get you prepared, that get you ready. And that's why you see these people, they going crazy. They don't know what to believe because they're following another man's or another woman's word for it or path or things like that. They haven't tapped into themselves, their own wisdom, their own ancestors, their own path yet. And that's why it makes them go crazy. The collective, not everybody is ready for these revelations, but a lot of my soul family is. Is what spirit says. So be very, very careful when you join the path of listening to creation and you're living in the world of people listening to man. Okay? Be very, very weary and be very, very careful is what my ancestors say right now, y'all. Y'all have to be careful when you're following the narrow path, when you're not trying to listen to the outsiders, when you're not trying to listen to the oppressors. You have to be very, very weary about the information that you're coming into contact with because a lot of these people who received the revelations were not ready and that's why they confused. They fucked up in the head. They, it ain't no coming back for them. So be very, very careful, you guys. Wisdom is powerful if you allow it to be, but wisdom can also be detrimental if the ego is unbalanced and unchecked we got the angel of self-worth so we got self-determination here and now we have the angel of self-worth it says you are currently undervaluing yourself it is time to regain your self-worth well there it is you guys let, let me go ahead and get it out the book for y'all because 
I think that's clear as day. You have to see the divinity within yourself if you even expect anybody to acknowledge it or see it within you. You have to be the first person to know that you are that nigga or that you are that bitch, period, whatever resonates with you, before you expect anybody else to see it within you or to pull it up out of you. Spirit really wants the collective to pay attention to that self-worth. I feel like it's an issue, a collective issue. A lot of us don't realize that we have a lot more to offer than what is being shown to the naked eye or shown by the naked eye or whatever the case may be, right? A lot of us don't realize that we have a lot under our belt because when i see here she looks like she's pregnant with ideas she's pregnant with creativity she's pregnant with a lot of different things it's so many things that the collective wants to birth here but then you have that self-worth and that self-love and that self-determination issue standing in the way and spirit says who do you pray to sometimes you got to ask yourself even in the midst of you facing your enemy your creator is greater than your enemy who do you pray to that's how i g-check myself sometimes when i'm going through my shit y'all who do you pray to because I got 1804 ancestors. My shit is proven. I got to remind myself sometimes because this earthly realm will get you fucked up. Who do you pray to? I want my collective to ask themselves that every time that you face in these spirits of, 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 of self-worth and self-determination, every time that you begin to, to, to consider, you know, how much have you been working on it, paying attention to it, things of that nature? I G-check myself and I say, who do I pray to? You need that reminder sometimes because your creator is always greater than your enemy, sis, bruh. So who do you pray to here? That will give you your self-worth. That will give you your self-determination. When you remind yourself where you come from and who created you, there's no enemy and no weapon that can prosper. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. It's a little light. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm going to get this out the book for y'all. It says you are currently undervaluing yourself. You are so much more than what you are portraying to the world and those around you. The angel of self-worth is here today to reflect into you all the beauty, love, and light that you are and to help you regain your sense of self-worth. Feel her healing light penetrate your aura this very moment and affirm to yourself, I am a being of light and love. I love and value the many wonderful qualities I possess. From this moment forward, I will honor and value myself, all I am and all I do in the knowledge that I am, part of God's creation. What I say, y'all, who do you pray to? Your creator is always greater than your enemy. But the moment you lose that fact and that reassurance, that's when that's the only time that the enemy gets to fuck with you. You always have to maintain and, and continuously cultivate the strength of the relationship that you're developing with your creator. And I don't give a fuck who you call it to. Call it to, to, to. You think these mountains give a fuck if I spelt it T-O, T-O-O, or T-W-O? No, they just hurt too. So it's my energy. It's, it's, my, it's my intention behind what I'm saying. I could say bon Dieu. I could say God. I could say Allah. I could say whatever. But it's my energy. It's my intention behind what I'm saying. Sometimes the self-worth issue comes with this, this, this blockage that we have mentally, y'all. It says, I am worthy of love. Repeat this affirmation several times each day, either out loud or in silence of your heart. Reflect upon each word and truly believe your own and truly believe and own each one. Express each word with all your heart. Y'all pay attention to your affirmation. Spirit wants you to say it with your chest. Say it like you mean it. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you have to affirm and speak life over your life here. Cause ain't nobody coming to save you and ain't nobody doing it for you. And even if somebody is coming to save you, at least let them see you doing the work by the time they get here. So you the first one in line to be saved. Cause at least you look like you want some saving. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you save yourself. Talk, speak life into yourself. Even if you rely on people like myself or, or, or other energies who have been anointed to do it, I want you guys to understand that the power that you have within you is greater than the power that I have to speak over you. You and your creator have a different type of relationship than me and my creator. And what my creator can do within my life is going to be completely different than what you and the relationship with your creator will ever manifest within your life. I want the collective to begin to speak life into themselves. Get a little cocky. Get a little conceited when you talk to yourself because that is how you reveal with this revelation energy the power that comes within you, from you, before you. All that good shit, y'all. I send you guys love, peace, light, and blessings. You cannot book a personal reading with me. Unfortunately, the schedule is closed. If you do want to book a personal reading, you can book it two weeks out. That's the only of times that are available. Um, I decided to sell out all the products on the website because honestly, y'all don't know when I'll be back. I'm not in a rush to go back to that snow and that 
that hell hole that cold i'm really not so if you wanted to order some products you guys will not unfortunately be able to order until i get back okay i send y'all love i send y'all peace i send y'all light i send y'all blessings i will be going to see my bow on i will be uploading some vlogs in between these little readings and stuff like that um stay tuned y'all be safe y'all i love y'all